All right, welcome Foodie Adventure fans. Today we're going to talk about the Lenin's Belgium Frambos beer. Well, we got this from Trader Joe's. It actually had a special. Uh, I forget what it was like. $15, $16.99 to try all four of these. Well, three different flavors, four different bottles. And it comes with this wonderful glass right here, the Lenemans print right up front. So, cheers guys. I thought it was a heck of a deal. Nice collector's item, almost like a wine glass. We'll call it a beer chalice, okay? We'll call it something manly. Not one of my, uh, it's not really my style of beer, but if I have a fruity beer, it's gonna be the Lenemans. It's gonna be their Lambic beer. It has an uncanny flavor. So, uh, I haven't, I've never tried the peach. Let's get into that. I decided to frost the glass as well, just so I could have a frosty beer mug. Reminds me of when I was in New Orleans and my dad told me, hey, you know, when you go to this place called Liuza's, you gotta have the uh, frosted beer mug with the Abita beer in it. It was Abita strawberry and a frosted mug. I'll never forget. Is this the peach? Is this the peach? Oh, there's the peach. Let's just get through this seal easily. Let's see if we can do this properly, guys. I know it's not wine, but we're gonna treat it like some fancy schnozzy stuff. Keeping the label face toward everybody. You guys can see that. That golden color. Look at that. Whoa. That's worth every penny. Nice sour finish. It's like a sour peach flavor. Not very sour, totally sweet enough. Amazing peach flavor. Look at that golden tint. I mean, it really doesn't get any better than that. I mean, honestly, this is pretty fly. It's pretty fire. I don't know. Might not be any left. Huh. This is definitely top flight. I should have had this around Thanksgiving. You know, contrast against the turkey and then the cranberry. And then, you know, there's all this tart stuff, salty stuff, nice contrast. I had to get another glass. You know, we're fancy schmancy over here sometimes. Sometimes we're not. Okay, cool. Now, I'm gonna, I've already tried raspberry before. It's probably why we got two of them here. Uh, but, we're definitely gonna go in on that strawberry. All right, guys, strawberry. Let's see just how good it is, okay? Might keep these golden caps, they look pretty freaking cool. You can have the rose gold one. No, let's not do it that way. Let's do it like we did earlier. Got that lemon and strawberry lambic. Let's see how it compares to the peach, because right now peach is number one. Look at that rose gold color. Oh yeah. Guys, you know you gotta try this. It's good stuff. Wow. The bouquet on that is very noticeable. Oh 
Okay, this is probably better than a beauty strawberry, I'm not gonna lie. This is a little more handcrafted. Hmm. I'd have to say, wait, let me drink more of it. Great bite to it, nice little flavor, but it's it's in no comparison to the peach. Right now, I would say if I could find the peach flavor, I'd do that for special occasions. Or is it, is it because I've had so much of the peach flavor that I'm not feeling the strawberry as much? Palate cleanser is on the way. What do we got this time? So, Trader Joe's organic corn chip dippers. That's much better. Hey, you gotta get you some guacamole or some chili with this stuff. They held up really well, and they got really good ingredients. Compared to most, anyway. Now let's wash this down. Crafted by wind, brewed through generations. Lemons Brewery, Lemons Brewery, family owned since 1822. Hmm. Interesting. By the Belgian family brewers. You know, so after having the palate cleanser, it's actually a whole lot better. There's not a lingering peach flavor trying to uh, overthrow the strawberry here, so. I'm gonna put the strawberry aside. We're gonna hope that the raspberry can uphold both of them. But I'll use a palate cleanser anyways. That's just for all the people who like the crunch, okay? We're not editing that out. This is a fun video. I get to drink and at the same time talk about beer. I like the color on this one better. It's like they've made this a million times. Look at that. I don't think this even compares to all the other ones. Deep raspberry color. I already know this is good. It's so good. It's got nice tartness, nice aftertaste, smooth finish, and overpowers both of them. Like it never even mattered. The peach. A prime example of excellent craftsmanship right there. It doesn't actually beat the raspberry now that I've tried the raspberry, but it's something new and it's something different. And actually I would leave the strawberry I would leave the strawberry to Abita, to be honest with you. I'm just gonna be honest. Okay, so raspberry is the winner because it just reminded me why they've made so many of them and that this is the original flavor has a full body to it. You can taste the full raspberry flavor. And it lingers just, just a tad bit, almost like a Cabernet. I like it. Nice little beer tasting. We've tried the copycat version of this at Trader Joe's, which is pretty good, but just leave the Lambic uh, tart beer to them. Is They make it the best, you know? Now that they got this peach flavor, they're pretty much going all in. I'd say, Lemon, you guys need to go ahead and release the peach big bottle, okay? So people can celebrate with it, have it with their mimosas, and drink it throughout the day and stuff. Not that I'm an 
advocating for drinking, but uh, sometimes you got to have a cold one, you know, and, you know, put this on your list. Well, guys, tune in next time. You can catch me doing probably any kind of random stuff with food. And uh, I'm about ready or due for an adventure anytime soon. So combine the two, foodie adventures, flavor explosions will happen. So tune in next time. Okay, guys, like, comment, subscribe, uh, tell all your friends, share my videos, leave in the comments below what you want to see, where you want us to go, what do you want us to do? Let's do something awesome. Let's do something amazing any and every time, guys. Thanks for watching Foodie Adventures. Foodie Adventures signing out. It's all right. It's all right.